assalamu alaikum and good morning dear students i hope so that you all are fine i welcome you all in another lesson of google classroom i hope so that you have done your previous task quite well i hope that you have understood the topic the kindness towards animals today we are going to do its written work if you have any question or anything here that you didn't understand that you can ask me and in comment box or in comment section of google classroom now we are going to start our today's lesson so today we are going to start or we are going to do the written work of kindness towards animals before start our written task we have to discuss the its learning objective Today we are going to reinforce the topic through written work. Before we start the written work, we will discuss or we will recap the previously reading or previously read pages that we have done in the previous lesson. Our discussion points are what is kindness means you know that what is kindness kindness is basically a quality that comes or comprises gentleness care consideration love and forgiveness and our kindness and that behavior does not only specified for human beings but also for all the things living beings that includes birds and animals then we have discussed what is the basic or what is the dignity of being kind through many incidents it we have also discussed the importance of kindness in our life the incidents of thirsty man and a dog a person that was extremely thirsty and when he saw a well he filled uh, he felt he quenched his thirst when he came up and he saw a dog which seemed which was seemed also thirsty he filled his leather so he came down into the well again and he filled his leather socks with water and gave it to dog al almighty was very pleased with this action and he was sent to paradise after the death then we have also discussed a hadith on kindness and we also discussed an incident of, of a woman that was so cruel to animals and due to this act he was she was sent to hell okay our class work is you you know how to start or how to do your class work you are requested to take out your notebooks for the class work and then you will write the date class work and day after this you will write the topic which is kindness towards animals so you will write the topic in the middle of the page and then you will start your work so i give you 1 minute to write or prepare the page for the class work you will write the date first and then you will write class work uh, and then you will write the topic i hope you have written or prepared your page now write the answer these question and then you will write the question number 1 how did the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ask us to treat the creator of allah it's a very easy question you will just write the ahadith uh, here and then you will write in this in the same way uh, with quotation mark every living being is a creature of allah and he loves those who treat his creature gently now question number 2 is how did prophet sallalla how did people treat animals before advent of islam yes this is your second question how did people treat animals before advent of islam i have given you the points here but 
you will write the answer in proper way in proper paragraph you will write in the proper format you will follow uh, you will not write the answer in points they were the uh, before the advent of islam the arabs were usually very cruel and very harsh with animals because they usually used very tight leather straps on the necks of their animals or camels they used to cut off the meal of living animals and cut off and cut their hairs for their own use they also used animals for the tar- for target practice and used to beat the faces of animals so these are the points that you can get the help from there and then you can write the answer very easily which is on page number 35 Now our question number 3 is state hadith of holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam narrate commands given by him about pets and sacrificial animals This is a hadith which you can find on your book page number 35 We are Allah the almighty in the matter of animals as they cannot speak Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam commanded later that animals should be fed well and people should not ride them for too long and avoid using leather straps on their necks and also avoid uh, to brand on the faces of animals because that was forbidden people could only use uh, ears uh, for branding because it is not very painful for animals prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam also ordered to use the sharp knives for slaughtering animals so that minimum pain would be experienced by animals so these are the commands that have been given by prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and this one this one is your a hadith that you have to write in your answer but these points you will write in paragraph form you can get the help from these points and you can also find points from page number 35 you you will write the answer in proper way don't write in points don't write your answer in points i'm repeating again and again you will not write the answer in points you will write the answer in paragraph form i hope that you understood the lesson and the question and answers this is all from my side take care we will see you in the next lesson allah hafiz